I, I think that jazz very seldom in its true state is presented to the average public. They do have an idea of jazz which is not quite true. But the way I feel about it is that it is the only form of art that, in a way, America has uh, created and given to the world in this century or, or in the past few centuries, let's say. But I think it's more of a revival in a different form of what went on in classical music before. In other words, in the 17th century, there was uh, a great deal of improvisation in classical music, as mm -hmm. you know. And because of the fact that there were no electrical recording techniques or any way to permanize or to catch music mm -hmm. and to uh, record it, mm -hmm. the music was written so that it could be uh, permanized that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so slowly but surely, the, r the writing of the music and the interpreters of the written music uh, gave way to more and more interpretation and more and more uh, cerebral composition uh, and, and less and less improvisation until finally, improvisation became a lost art in classical music and we have only the composer As you're and right. the interpreter mm -hmm. so uh, the composer even uh, very seldom uh, improvised or very, didn't have to uh, say around uh, the late 18, 1800s or the turn of the century but jazz in a way has uh, resurrected that process which I call the jazz process now jazz as we we tend to look at it is a style but I feel that jazz is not so much a style as a process of making music. Mm. It's the process of making music, uh, making one minute's music in one minute's time. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you compose, mm -hmm. you can make one minute's music and take three months mm -hmm. to compose one minute's music. Now that's the only basic difference. Now it so happens that because of uh, historical circumstances and uh, where jazz was born or whatever came up to Mississippi and uh, American music and the American culture and all, we think of jazz as a stylistic medium now, which in a, in a way it is. Uh, uh, but I think we must remember that in an absolute sense, jazz is more of a certain creative process of spontaneity than a style. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you might say that Chopin or, or Bach or Mozart or whoever uh, improvised music, that is, was able to make music of the moment was in a sense playing jazz mm -hmm. and we uh, leave style out of it and that's the way I feel about it in an absolute sense. Uh, I would like to say that uh, one of the most thrilling things about jazz as a spontaneous creative process is uh, for instance in recording it and later hearing oneself uh, and being so surprised and, and mm -hmm. at what has happened mm -hmm. and it might be interesting to note that any good uh, teacher of of uh, composition that is like serious classical music sort of composition mm -hmm. will always tell the student that uh, the composition should sound as if it's improvised it should mm -hmm. have the spontaneous quality mm -hmm. so actually the the uh, art of music is uh, the art of speaking with this spontaneous quality mm -hmm. and uh, and that is a, the thrilling part of jazz in that it has more or less resurrected uh, the art of of spontaneous uh, creative music uh, again, uh, it hasn't been heard from since, what, the 17th century or the 18th century in classical yeah. music. Well, as a teacher and as a jazz musician, sort of a Jekyll and Hyde existence by day, educator by night, jazz musician, it seems like no one is really that interested in finding out what is existing in jazz. Uh, students that I've been teaching uh, seem to have vast misconceptions about the creative uh, element in jazz. Uh, as opposed to, say, classical music, you know. It's, and the way of explaining it to me is you cannot go back and erase in jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, in classical music, as, as you so often have said, it takes three months maybe to make one moment of music, and in jazz, one moment of music is one moment of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, this type of challenge that you have to direct yourself for that moment, and you have to call on all your energies and your intellect and uh, physical energies and aesthetic energies and aesthetic sensitivity to your environment and pour it all into this one moment and you don't have time to even reflect on it, you know. Mm -hmm. Afterwards you may reflect on it, certainly. Yeah. But at the moment, you're inside of it. 